Hey guys, Angela here and welcome back to Hobby Night. For this week's video, we're doing something a little bit different. We had you all vote between the Space Wolves Second Edition Codex, the Imperial Guard Second Edition Codex, and the Citadel Miniatures Catalog from 1996 to have us review and look through. And you guys chose the catalog. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at all of the pages here. John will be with me on this one, talking about what we have in here, and we're gonna see exactly how much these prices have changed over the years. Here we are, back home with the Warhammer 40,000 1996 Citadel Miniatures Catalog, which cost you a whole dollar and 25 cents or in Canada, $1.99. Hi everybody, I'm here. Yes, John is in fact here. He is going to be in control of flipping the pages. I am, however, I would just like to introduce myself if you have only ever watched the painting videos before. Hello. That's true. I am John, the editor. I am also the manager for our other YouTube channel, youtube.com slash alchemical rabbit. Remember always to plug where we play uh, a lot of Warhammer video games. It's true, Total War, lots and lots of Total War. Indeed, so. Uh, the reason I am here today is one to make you angry in case you were only here for Angela. It's true. Uh, but the other reason is because this is my era of Warhammer 40. It is, it is. And that is why I've brought him in for his expertise. Yes, because um, as this is a Warhammer 40,000 video, I must answer the three rules. That is right, the three rules that one must always answer when introducing yourself in a 40K setting. Of course. The first one is... Which edition did I get into? Uh, that would be third, right in the middle or near the beginning, actually. Um, I remember fourth launching. Yeah. And it was, I'd already been playing for like a year or two. Yes. So I don't remember second at all, though. So I don't think I was actually around for second. Okay, nice. Um, what army am I currently playing? Question number two. I am currently playing Necrons because I like losing. And then finally, um, the third answer is yes, Magnus did something wrong. So we've okay. covered the three questions that must be answered in all 40K discussions. Um, real quick, because I don't actually think I have done this myself it wasn't on the in channel. your first video no how dare you i know i am blasphemed um it's okay i am a heretic uh my first uh edition i believe was fifth um although i feel like i saw the end of fourth i just wasn't playing until that is fifth. correct that is correct um my current army if you weren't watching the vlogs and didn't <laughs> already know this is death guard and Magnus did nothing wrong. Oh, yes, he did. He did nothing wrong. There is a book that either just came out or is coming out soon from Black Library that will explain how that is a wrong sentence. I know, I know, but I like to believe that he so, was doing it for the good of, of the Imperium. I think people are here for the magazine. They are, they are, not to hear us After ramble. we've already so lost let's... everyone. <laughs> so, I just want to point out, first and foremost, what a Games Workshop thing it is that they are charging you to shop from them. Yes. It's beautiful. Also, I love this cover. It's a great cover. Um, the very first battle I ever saw of Warhammer 40,000 had Blood Angels in it. Nice. So I have a fond, fond memories. Ah, uh, look at it. The beauty of it all. This catalog that you are holding in your hand is your complete source for the Warhammer 40,000 line of Citadel miniatures. All the black and white models are shown at actual size. <gasps> all caps, all caps, it actual is size. Folks. At Although some of the vehicles and color references had to be reduced. My goodness. When possible, we have pictured miniatures in the catalog next to their blister so, mates. Basically what this is saying mm -hmm. is that all of the images that we're gonna see in this catalog are to scale with the miniatures back in um, 1996. Why did you just take Anyway, sorry, Angela's stealing things from me in real life. All right, so as we can see, the second edition codex, I'm willing to bet these. This is as diverse of a crowd for 40K they could find in the 90s. Probably, yeah. Yeah, like, that's, fair. that's, that, fair. That, that's as diverse as they were getting, especially considering it was England. Yep. Nice. Uh, oh, look at the old Citadel pot colors. Oh my god, I bet they worked better than the modern ones. I wish they still looked like that. They look more stable, to be so perfectly honest. Make sure we're completely in frame there. Of course. But yes. To be fair, they still maintain the exact same uh, method of painting. They really do. They, they sort of keep it very classic. This this is what the stores looked like when I was a kid. 
That looks so cool. I miss the old blister walls. So I've never been in, um, I've been in, I've been in one Games Workshop store. Um, in Europe, right? In Europe, yeah. Uh, uh, it was when I was studying abroad in France when I was in college and we were in Paris and we found a Games Workshop store and it was smaller than this. It did not look quite like this. So I've never seen one that looked like this picture does. This is kind of what the... I did not originally have a Games Workshop store in my town when I was a kid, but the Games Store had this wall. Nice. I And I've seen the wall in Game Stores before, <gasps> but um, never, like, to that level. And here we begin with the yes. original Space Marines. Space Marines. And then Space Marine I'm, Sergeants I'm on pretty the sure I, I have some of these. Really? I think I have some of the old plastic uh, second editions. That's cool. I think everyone... Really cool. I had, love this skull. I think if you started playing before 2010, you were legally required by the Imperium of Man to have at least one of these Space Marines in your collection. You know, I would 100% believe that. Oh, yeah. look! Blood Angels! Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so we have this one, though, right? We um, have... No, I do not have this chaplain. We don't have no, that chaplain? No, I have Lamartes, which I don't think was out yet. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Lamartes was like third or fourth edition, I believe. But he kind of looks like that, yes, right? Okay. Yes, yes. I think that's same, why I'm confused. Same artist, same... So look at the size of these plasma pistols. They're huge. They're, they're bigger than their heads. I know. Like, oh my god. I mean... I love these rocket launchers. They though. are good. These, like, really clunky ones. Mm -hmm, I always mm -hmm. like those better than the round tubes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I actually... Yeah, I don't really like that as much. No, no. I like I like this the old one. The plasma cannon yeah. and this giant heavy bolter. Look, it even has a giant magazine that you put in the bottom. That is amazing. Oh my god, it is you talk it's about It's a giant bolter. Jesus. It is literally a bolter they scaled <laughs> up. They just scaled up. Yes. That's amazing. Oh man. That this is something that like if at some point or whatever, if we ever do like a collection where we're trying to get some of the older ones, like I, I would love to get some of the older like Space Marine miniatures. Oh, they're adorable. Oh my God, look at these scouts. Oh, they are terrible. They are ugly. Oh, they're terrible little Mohawks. Oh, beautiful. Make sure your lighting's... Yeah, yeah, that's good. No, that is so cool. I was making sure we had everything in frame and we do. Excellent. Too. Also, shout out to the old art. Oh yeah, no, I've loved seeing a couple of these like scattered throughout so far. Like whenever they do the little emblems oh, and such. Oh, see this. So the first battle, I can, I, I think the first battle I ever saw was Space Marine on Space Marine. Okay, um, makes sense. I, that happened a lot. And then always. one side was definitely Blood Angels. Mm -hmm. uh, the other actually, side? Actually, I'll take it back. The other side was Eldar. It was, was it? Yep, yeah, it was because nice. I remember who was playing, and they only played Eldar. Got it. Um, and I definitely remember these sculpts uh -huh. just so much. I bet. I bet. I bet somewhere in a box we have some of them. I bet so. We'll have to look through, look maybe do some comparisons. Legs. Look at these tiny legs. I know, they're so thin. Like, really thin, like, thighs there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Skip and leg day. Oh, as man. As the kids would say. Skip and leg day. I love the classic Terminators. Me too. Me too. The classic Terminators. They're so tiny. Yeah, they are. There's some they of them are. at the uh, game store. Yes, and, and they're they are, so small. They're, they're puny. They're smaller than, like, a scout. Okay, I really do like this heavy plasma gun. I want to find this particular heavy weapons model. My favorite thing about all of these is these are just a larger variant of the existing guns. I know, that's what makes it so it's funny to me. Just a bigger bolter. A bigger like, bolter, a, bolter a bigger for plasma a larger, gun. This is, this is a bolter for an Inquisitor scale mini. Yes, oh that's my that goodness. Is. Yeah. I wonder if, they, if that's what they actually did. No, for, that kind of um, well, for the heavies, probably. Ah, uh, maybe you should give some context on where this magazine came oh, from. Oh, yes. Okay, so now that we've gotten to a page that has some markings on it, um, we can talk a little bit about how we acquired this magazine. So this is not something that either John or I previously actually had owned ourselves. Um, this was actually a donation to Games at Berkeley from a customer who... I don't know the context of why they didn't want the magazines anymore. Um, they were not hers, I don't think. Um, I think they were somebody else's, but she was basically donating them because they were in her house. She didn't want them anymore. She didn't really want to try to sell them or anything. She wasn't sure they would be worth anything anyways. So th it was a collection of um, a couple of these catalogs and then a variety of second edition codexes. Um, and so that's where we got the Space Wolf one, the Imperial Guard one, and this magazine, and then a couple of others. Um, and so these circles, I'm assuming, are from the person who originally had owned this. So they were clearly building a space marine chapter and i think later, later on they definitely were 
building chaos because I think they had a like there's a chaos. I think they were. I think had. they were. I think they were um, trying to build a army, but they were proxying together. Not proxying. They were kit bashing. Uh, oh, they were kit bashing chaos and, and, and space and marines together. Makes sense. Yeah. So it that does. seems what they were doing. This reminds me of the Sicarius miniature because of the uh, the plumage. Oh yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. I like it. I like what is going on on that four sword. Yes. That yeah, that's sculpture. really cool. There's another one here. It has I like this staff. Like yeah. the librarian has a very cool like the, uh, I feel pistolary. like modernly would be very, very chaos. Shout out to Epistolary Magnus. Yep. Alright. And then we have the final tech marines. Nice. Now these are all plastic or metal? Oh metal. Metal. Are you okay. kidding me? Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. Oh actually, uh, miniatures are supplied with plastic arms. Plastic arm and weapon sprues. Um, so what that means is the body, the shoulders, most of them are, but what they'll do is like, especially the heavy weapons guys and assault teams, mm -hmm. they just make like sprues with chain axes and bolt pistols on them. Got it. Okay. And those come in the sprues along with all the metal bits. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Cause guy. I didn't, I've not bought a lot of the like old blister style stuff. I yeah, have a yeah. few. I have like Sander. I got that way. You'll find um, a lot of the weapons. But he was purely metal. Because they wanted to reuse a lot of the heavy weapons and such between like they made Blood Angel and Dark Angel. Got it. Yeah, yeah. I love this this uh seal. That's a good purity seal. That's a good one for like copying. Yeah, that's I was gonna say this is a really cool seal. I to, touch like... the camera while we do that so okay. you can't get a clear shot. Sorry. It's okay. Just don't touch it again. There we go. It stopped shaking. It's still a little bit, but it should be okay now. But yeah, no, that's cool. That's cool. Alright, so Space Marines. Mm. More. Uh, a complete Warhammer 40k army. I wish I had the prices next to everything. I'm sure it's in the back. Oh, yeah. I do think there is. So we have a, a Space Marine army. We'll have to look up how much a Space Marine army costs. This looks like it was actually um, like an old battle force, well, basically. It, it, yeah, yeah. They used to sell these um, when I was a kid. They were about two to three hundred dollars. Is this basically the start collecting? Like, yeah. The what start collecting turned into? Yeah, like you know the Christmas boxes that are like one hundred and seventy five dollars. Oh, okay, so the they sold forces. these for like two to three hundred. Cool, cool. Was the idea, and we are on to the Sons of Russ. Sons of Russ, beautiful. Ooh. Looking for cool. the oldest mini that just got replaced in the game. Technically, yep, he yep. just got replaced. Technically, he just got replaced, uh, even though it's not out because well, it's out in Europe. Oh, is it nice? I okay. think because the Games Workshop stores are open in Europe now. Oh, are they all? I thought it was just... Their online store is. Nice. Store is, so that counts. Dang it. That's I mean, it. these, like, I don't know. They <gasps> may... Beakies! Yeah, they had oh, second edition. Of course they had beakies. Yay, beakies I, I are my I was going to say, they, um, the Wolf Scouts might still be the same sculptures. I'm not sure. Oh, man, really? Yeah. Dang, are they still metal, or did they at least convert them to plastic? I think they're fine cast, so worse. Ooh, oh, that sucks. If I'm right about that. Oh, I like that. I like that Chaplin and Terminator. The, the, these boys were around for so long. The Thunderhammer guys, yeah. Yeah, yeah they were. I think these, I've seen these. These two. The, um, because Cyclone missile launchers on Terminators at one point were useful. Mm-hmm, totally. Oh, you know what we should do? This is something we should bring with us if we ever go back to Gen Con. Like, oh, do and hunting. To, to do hunting. Like, if there's something that we find in here that we're like, oh, I like that one, we should go to that one booth and ask them, and do, ask you them, do you this? have this? <laughs> or where where do you think it might be? It's Deathwing. I think these are still the same Deathwing Terminators, technically. I don't know. I, I, I am very behind on my um, my Space Marine releases. So that's I, true. We haven't collected actual Space Marines other than the stuff that's randomly well, I know, come in the Well, I know it's been a very long time since GW has actually updated Deathwing or Ravenwing miniatures. Right. So I, they they probably got a conversion kit whenever they did the last Terminator I was going to say, I assume they probably just got like shoulder, shoulder pads, pads or whatever. Yeah, for the, the existing Termies. Exactly. Oops, sorry. I also bounced the camera there. It's okay. Wolfguard Sergeant. Ooh, I like... Yeah, the pelts. The pelts are cool. That's really nice. So you can see that Space Wolf gray, definitely not blue. Yeah, definitely not blue. Definitely not blue. As I'm going to check what the color on the camera looks like. Oh, here. Yeah, no, no, it's... It's, it's definitely blue? Yeah. That's because it's blue! Dang it! Bikes. It's okay. I miss you, bikes. Oh, me too, me too. One day. That is one thing that I'm very sad that we don't really get in 8th edition, and I assume we'll probably... Oh, I really like these... Grey Knights, Grey Knights, the original Grey Is this Knights. when they released? Yeah. Oh, wow. So originally, when I first started playing, Grey Knights were not an army. They were like a white dwarf unit. 
nice. that you could take and add on to your existing Imperial armies. I mean, don't get me wrong, those are really cool. Yeah, they were in, they were really strong in like maybe not competitive. I don't know. What also, they did, apparently, guess, you but. got one per blister. Dude, they were huge. That's what you got for Terminators in blisters. I guess that's true. I guess that's true. They were like ten bucks. My goodness. I like the Inquisitor Terminators too, those are cool. Mm -hmm. oh, nice, the good tiny, tanks. The tiny circus tanks. They are the so small now. The deadly Razorback excels in its dual use as a troop transport vehicle and an enemy tank destroyer. Contains a plastic and pewter model. Nice. We actually have a couple of like pewter tanks, don't we? we have, uh, uh, yes, uh, hold on, I will be right back. We do have the old Whirlwind. The Whirlwind's like really tucked away though. Got it. Dog. Um, but these are really, really like I. I wish they don't really put these on the little spike things or whatever on the fronts of the the um, tanks. I really don't feel like you see those anymore. Maybe on chaos ones, but definitely not on like the imperial ones as much. Sadly, I think our tank got put away when we actually cleaned up. How dare we? I think it did. It's okay. We're looking at some dreadnoughts now. All right. I have an old uh, vindicator. Oh look! In that look, stuff. our first orcs. There oh. they are. Oh man, the old second. Is that a, is that a killer can? Um, that is, uh, yes, that is a killer can. Or no, it just is calling it an orc dreadnought here. So they they did not have a differentiation, I think, between killer cans and death dreads yet. But yes, oh, that is the mini for a killer can. Okay, Heads I was gonna say because it can. looks. I was like, it looks like a garbage can. This, this is th these are the aesthetics that made me love this game as a child. I don't know what it was about this bright, colorful shit, but like, sorry for the language. Um. It is okay. You can say it in WWE. I think we're okay now. It's true. Um, I just really like these. No, I love the bright pops of color. And then um, I, <laughs> there's a certain nostalgia that I have for the green. Oh my god, that actually has a little bit of dirt color. I've never seen that in an old minute, like on an old base before. It kind of did too. I guess so, but like these ones are definitely more just like green with like, yeah, bad camera capture on the grass, I guess. Um, but like, this is like just super goblin green grass. And I, I'm a little sad that we don't do that as much anymore, but at the same time, like, bases look so cool. Yeah, he, he was the oldest mini. Yep. Yeah, Ragnar. There we go. Rip. Rip. Ah, uh, Chief Iberian Tigerius just got replaced as well. I think he, he's like two or three generations past this. Yes, yeah. I, I really, I, okay, I just have to say, like, look at the, look at that. I mean, look at all these stand, all these I know, banners, all of these banners, all these banners are hand painted. These are all just little hand done things. Oh yeah, no, that's amazing. Like, I, at some point we have a bunch of banners and I would love, oh my God, is that the old Tyranid? That's the old Carnifex. Oh, sorry, I got distracted seeing the really derpy Carnifex. I love it. Okay, that's another model that I, if I ever found one, uh, that was not totally outrageously priced. Back when the game was really infantry based. Yeah, it's really not a thing as much anymore. Depends what you're running. Depends on what you're running. And we find out that he was in fact a Death God fan. Indeed. Killed. Specifically of like Thousand Suns and Plague. We, we have this guy. Yes, we do. We have, we have, well, the, we plastic. have, the, we have the plastic version of yeah, him. Yeah, they re-released this boy recently mm -hmm. and we have him. Yep. I like this Emperor's Children Marine. I don't feel like I've ever seen that miniature. Um, yeah, I don't think that that was used a whole lot. It's really cool looking. And of course the, you know, Z this guy's chain axe. Sons. Yeah, it's great. I wish it was like a guitar. So we have a, I wish we have a Sulaneshi noise me with a chain axe and it's just a chain guitar. guitar? That yeah. would be so cool. Yeah. I'm sure somebody's kit bashed that. I will be soon. Look how squat they are. I know. Your boys are so short. They are. Well, they're, they're heavy. They're very round. Weighed down with plague. This is what he looks like. Amazing. What you order on wish.com, what you get delivered. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, I oh. like this green effect that they did. Oh, I do too. Look I wonder that. I wonder what that's that the representing or is it I it think just, it's just like cool. cool it, well it's it's them contrasting green with red is all that is. Yeah, I guess that's true. Because their their uh chess pieces actually like also have a little bit of the green. Yes. Also, a squad you have. Oh yeah, is that the um the Legion of the Dam? A Legion of the Dam squad. We that is that is something that I actually picked up from that booth we were talking about in uh at Gen Con. Excellent. Nice. We are on to the to orc space board. orcs. Back when they were called space orcs. You'll forgive me if I don't stand every page for a super huge amount of time. There's quite a bit of book to go. There is. There is. And we're less familiar with the um, orcs. Like their little, their little uh, pan hats. I do too. I do too. They're great. 
Ooh, that's snake bite boys. Ba- oh, these are old bad moons. Cool. Yeah. Oh, look at him. He's got a little imperial hat. He does. He does. Old runts. Ooh, I like, I actually really like this blood axe bosses. Oh, the little runts are cute. Right? And little good objective markers. That's cool. Bad moon bosses. Death skull. Oh, I like the little card work on this guy. Look, the pirate ones. Like, Ah. I love the little pirate hats. Um, there's a there's a company called Cromlech that still yeah the freebooters that, yeah that makes um great conversions for orcs with doing the pirate theme if you want like a whole slew of them because I don't know if GW actually supports that anymore not as much as they used to unfortunately but there's still ways to get it and they're really really cool I actually can't remember I don't think that's any that my coworker got but he got some orc heads to convert his boys oh look at the warp heads so these Ooh, are their cycles I like them. Gretchen Assistance, that one's carrying books or something. Is it? Yeah, I guess it is scrolls or something. Yeah, it's probably helping uh, carrying stuff for an engineer. Nice. Assault Gretchens! I want Assault Gretchens. Assault Gretchens? Yes. That would be cool. Bunch of strength two attacks. Nice. You get extra armor against them. That's amazing. Ooh, I like the um, I like the old boars. Yeah, those look Sculpt. fun. Those are kind of cool looking. Yeah, nice texture work. Yeah. Doesn't look too messy. Oh, you... they look really cool painted. Yeah, once they're dry brushed up. Yeah, that'd be a really good, just like, dry rush. I love the can. Can you turn that page? Yes, I will. Thank you. There's a, there's a cable in my way, which kind of makes it difficult. I understand. The Mad Boys? Mad. I don't even know it. I think that's just a clan. Okay, yeah, I think Scar- so. Man, they made a lot of orcs. They made a lot of orcs. Like, holy... I feel like they don't. Do, you, do the orc players get this much variety no, as much? No, they really don't. Because that's a shame. They really cut like, like a They lot. still Jeez. have, this is a unit, like, goths. Yeah, storm boys are a unit. Knobs are their own thing, but, like... They're not nearly this cool. Like, look how cool these snake bite knobs are. I think there's are. a bit more personality back then, yeah. Yeah, like, these are... This guy's are... got an eye patch. I mean, they're also... Yeah, that's cool. More of the pirates. Ooh, yeah. yeah and makes sense, freebooters. That's cool. That's because they're not space orcs anymore. They're just orcs. Ah, uh, and there are the minis from the starter box. Nice, nice. Look, they got little bolt pistols. I love how very, like... Evil they look. Yeah, I'm like, communist? That is, um, okay, I'm, I'm just going to um, asterisk this. They don't look communist, they look the other evil. I, that's true. They do look the ast- the other evil. Yeah, so I'm like, eh, they're, they're cool looking, but they are also a little ss No, they they are, and like, that's that's why I'm imagining they don't do that anymore. No, but it is no. kind of a neat thing that to will, like, Here's see the thing, that's history. the joke. So that's the joke, right? Because right. they're called Storm Boys. Yeah. Storm Troopers. Yes. It's a very... On the nose. It's an on the nose, historic, off-color joke. Yeah. Um... That from above, with a well-drilled, reckless abandon, storm boys use orc jump packs. See, I feel like nowadays this would be spelled with just a K. Yeah. We'd remove this entire C. Yep. I agree. Yeah. I agree. I love like I love how huge the guns are on the Gretchen. Well, they're small, right? Aren't they? Aren't, aren't yes, Gretchen I know, but like the guns bigger than them? Well, it should be. I mean, look at a sister holding a bolt gun. <laughs> if, if there were any in this era. That's true. Oh, I like the war buggies. Yeah, no, the old war buggies were, were cool. And I, this is, I bet this is very tiny. The Splatagon? Yeah, I bet this is about the same size as that Imperia. Uh, oh, it's like the, a that Empire. Yeah, yeah. That, the uh, Empire cannon that we have. Yeah, that one or the Which uh, I always am going like, wait, that's that cannon? The dwarf cannon we have is smaller. That's why I'm saying it's like, that's probably true. that size. Oh, God. But there's also the Pulsar rocket. Oh, that's cool. Is that a unit in the game anymore no okay no uh well actually i'll take that back um there's is there, it a type of ammunition well there's use? goblin weapon teams and so all of these still exist but i think they have different names now okay got it but there is like a rocket there's uh there is a smash a gun there's definitely a tractor gun okay uh, yeah i think i remember those sadly ones. the squig catapult is no longer oh really you can't you can't catapult squigs anymore I don't think so. It might be in the Legends. I really hope that you can at least do that in Age of Sigmar. Please tell me that you can can catapult squigs in Age of Sigmar at least. Because I feel like that should be a thing. And finally, we have the Space Orc Army. Which honestly doesn't look like it comes with as much as the Space Marines. No. Well, I mean, it's got it's got one of the cannons. cannons and it does and come it has with a killer a, can. Yeah, it does come with a killer can. And possibly another bigger thing back here. I can't Move your finger. Know. Is that another? Oh yeah. Can? That, oh my God! Is that a shock attack gun? It looks like it. Yeah. I think there was one. 
I have that one. Hold um, on. Yes, there it is. I missed it. Yeah, it's right oh, here. Oh, no, that's a different one. That's a smaller version, but it, it still has this this try thing on it. So, okay, cool. Yeah. But yeah, so it looks like it comes with a couple of those. So I bet those are valuable points wise. So mm -hmm. it probably still works for. Um, hold on, hold on. Oh. We didn't see these heavy armored orcs yet. Did we not? Have no, we, no. Did we I had... skip past? No. Oh, I did. I yeah, turned the page. Yeah, that's why I was like, hold up, don't change yet. All right. Ooh, I like. Yeah, so I these are like, like yeah, me, these are like the mega knobs. Cool. Is what these are. And Ooh, ladies like and gentlemen, that. I present to you the biggest, the baddest, the biggest orc that ever wore. Gosgul, Thraka, and Makari. Nice. Yes. You did that very well. That was excellently done. Thank you. Um, also recently redone. Actually, well, he was redone. I have the one after this. Well, recently and, redone and again. And now he's been re-released again. That's true, because I built the other metal one. Yeah, where is he? He's You gap-filled him and such, didn't you? I think so. He's in, I think he's in the orc um, container. Oh, there, there's a good way to do some... Um, here, get some peek behind the scenes. That's how we could um, abuse like people looking for Gosgul Thraka painting videos. Is you just put out a video painting that mini? Oh gosh, I don't know if I want to paint him though. He's metal, like he's whole metal. Yeah, so I I've never painted a fully. I guess your arms are get tired holding it. Yeah, it'd be heavy. <laughs> and he's already put together. Like I feel like that one would. At prob I, I mean, we could try. So so kudos to Challenge, anyone anyone that, that takes this banner and puts on the new Thraka mini. Oh my gosh! Please do. That'd be amazing. Please somebody do that. Like like you can like I. Also, I don't I know if I want guy. you. To, I, I don't know if I want you to do it as cartoony as this because on one hand it'd be really funny to have this really cartoony banner on him. Mm -hmm. But also like. The, because I'm pretty sure GW has done a, like, modern rendition of this right. banner. So I want to see it the blocky, colorful, old way. Oh, that would be... I mean, I think somebody would do that. I... Can we talk about this guy's amazing blue hair? I mean, can we talk about the fact that his name is Zodgrod Wartsnaga? I mean, he's amazing, and I want this miniature. Also, that one. I love... I, he looks so samurai to me. Like, is that what they were going for? No, they were going for, I think, Mongolian. Okay, that also, I also get Mongolian, but like, it's, yeah. okay, that, it, it's very, like, much that, ooh. Oh, the starter set. Oh, that is so cool. Look at all the, like, paper terrain. Yeah, well, it came with all the paper terrain. Look, also, it, your paper. <laughs> your paper killer can. <laughs> Amazing. Oh. Um, oh, that's so cool. And I love how Look at all the old, um. Templates. Templates, For yeah. all this stuff you could equip. That's so, so cool. Because there's all these different explosions. Because, I mean, look, it's just two squads of tacticals. Mm -hmm. It's all you get. Very, very much that. like classic wargaming style too, with all the tokens to represent like charges forward and movement and everything. Like this is something that I dude. Like. Also, this is balanced. You are facing like two squads of tactical marines uh -huh. versus two units of boys, two units of, of like twenty grots, uh -huh. and a killer can yep. or a Nork dreadnought. Yep. With how the hell powerful were these two tactical squads in second edition? Apparently very Apparently, powerful. Apparently space marines were were still powerful. Always will be. <gasps> and we are on Eldar. to the best boys. The best boys. Uh, oh, look at these Harlequin Shadow Seers. Right? I mean, look at that art. It's so cool. Build death jesters. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Those are awesome. Some of these minis, I don't know if they've ever been updated. Do they even still make some of these? Um, Probably not. Oh, Metal I'm, Guardians. I really like this guy. If you really like him, you should look at Dire Revengers. Yeah? Yeah, I think there is a Dire Revenger that looks very similar to him in the modern sculpts. Nice, that's cool. These are their troop choices. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, is he around? Uh, yes. Uh, yes, I hold see on. pieces of him. He's, hold on. <laughs> so we have, my original army was Eldar. I think I've mentioned that um, at some video at some point. But the Bieltan, unfortunately, were sold off. But he's he's actually on your side. Oh, is he? Yeah, he's Oh, I see the, him. Yeah. Yes, I will get him. I also grabbed your other guy that I think is from this era. Right? Yes. Now, I still also have all of the pieces for this guy. I have his hair. I have his arm. It's over there. Uh, he's on a to-do repair thing, because obviously... A little bit broken. And I don't know what happened to his arm, unfortunately. Unfortunately, that's gone, but all he was holding was a singing spear. Okay. Uh, which is a weapon that we could easily 
Workplace. Uh, yes. Awesome. It's literally an Eldar arm holding an Eldari spear. Okay, well then so, that's that's easy enough to replace. Yeah, it's nothing. It just may not be quite to scale. Uh, you can probably find something. Probably. Might need something out of Age of Sigmar. Um, I like, I like these weird bug, dark like, reapers that have their loin their... cloths that are like, for these these dark reapers. <sighs> yeah, have. I had all of these, man. This this was the this was your first army, right? Yeah, these the aspect warriors in particular. Nice. Um, because I had this dark reaper exarch, but I had converted him to a missile launcher. Mm-hmm. I had a bunch of fire dragons. Nice. I had a squad of striking scorpions. Very cool. Ooh, I like the... Yeah, the classic banshees. Yeah, the classic banshees are cool. And I also... I still love the old warlocks. Yeah, actually, that is actually very nice. Like, I had, like, five of these guys. That's cool. Are they all warlocks? Yes. Okay, nice. Is this the, the, the singing... Uh, Spear, yeah. Spear. So, basically, he had this weapon. Okay. So, you can see, for all intents and purposes, this is something we could easily find a replacement for. Yeah. In looks... modern... Modern bits. I had three of him. That's amazing. We actually know somebody who has... Yeah, d yeah. Uh, do know somebody who is possibly maybe still selling it. I'll have to look into that now. Yeah, like, we might. We should look into that. Oh God, the the amount of glue that this this joint. This is all well, metal. This, is, this, this is, is all metal. Yeah, it's all metal, and well, this is why people pinned back in the day. Yep. So like pinned. was partially because of That's like why we this evolved miniature, the right? ability to pin was to put together Eldari uh, wraith lords. Indeed. The uh, anti-grav platforms for the Guardian squads. All of the old bikes. These bikes, I think these might still be the same bikes. Are they? Are these plastic or metal? I think these are plastic. Oh, okay. Uh, Interesting. I if, if, well, they... if they're not here, they were later. Okay. But it's the same sculpt. Got the it. same sculpt was really later released in plastic. Did they update These the... are 100% still the same. The warp spiders? Yeah. I think they're, they're commonly used as one of the earliest, like, many examples of needing an update. Right. They, they still look haven't decent. Gone. They look decent. I mean, I guess they do. They do. I mean, but I, I'm just surprised that they didn't get an update when some of the other aspect warriors Yeah, died. people were kind of hoping with the War of the Spider, maybe the Warp Spiders would get I update. also, for a second, definitely thought those were um, Necrons. No, they do kind of pose like them. Though. They do, yeah. Well, and their gun also kind of looks like the... Um, the a goss a goss weapon yeah, yeah. it's a tiny bit i can see that the old uh, eldari Ooh, rangers i love that art oh, it's so good because you've asked me a number of times whenever i'm like yeah the eldari kind of look human what are you like humanoid and you're like what and i'm like well, yeah they look human. they have they have their weird helmets well, always throw me hair. off they have to fit the hair i know it's the it's, like legitimately that is actually like the games workshop is really way, i know to fit this to fit their top knots yeah um games workshop is obsessed with top knots yeah it's part of their aesthetic i like i get it but <laughs> could we get some other style of hair for well, they like... do other things too. It's just I guess it's they a do. fun warrior style. I guess it is. I guess. Yeah. It is. See, like they're elves. They are space elves at the end of the day. Well, that one that makes them look way cooler. You need to look. You're you're actually gonna read or look. I know. At I'm gonna look at Eldar. the actual Eldar book and be like, oh my god, they're amazing. I must start an Eldar army. I would 100% support that. <laughs> um... And the next thing you hear on the vlog is that we've decided to start an Eldar army. No, 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 but. <sighs> It's mostly because I don't like the current meta. Yeah, that's um, fair. That's fair. I like this Phoenix Lord. To be fair, oh, that's Jane's R. <laughs> I was going to say, if you just wanted to collect the minis for the sake of it, this is not a conversation that should be happening on recordings. Okay. Mm. Yeah, no, the old <laughs> Phoenix Lords were... They, they are really cool. Mm -hmm. They are really cool. I'll show you guys when the Eldar army comes. It's fine. Ah, uh, and Eldred... Oh, this was another mini that was around forever, along with these guys. I, I okay, like I'm not going to lie, though. Like, that's really cool looking, though. The old Eldred? Yeah, yeah, I actually... Ah, oh, this... That one. I like that one. Cry the cry of the wind. Phoenix Lord. Baharoth. Baharoth. Malkin Ra was always my favorite. I like the wings though. Mm-hmm. I also like the The free hand sick, on his yeah. cloak, yeah. And we are on to oh, the em Emperor's finest. The, em the Imperial God. Beautiful. Look at them. They're so angry looking. For Arcadia and Katachan and Talon. Yay! And Valhalla. I recently remembered that, and I hope there's some I in here to look this at. This little buggy, this it, little heavy bolter buggy, is one of my favorite old minis. That is so cute. He, I I want one for a child. 
Like, I want a plastic one with yeah. a Nerf gun. Oh my gosh, that'd be amazing. Like, if I ever become rich or a really overzealous maker on YouTube, yeah. I want to make one of those with, like, a Nerf Vulcan on the front or something. That would be amazing. Like, converting, like, one of, like, an, a like the electric, um, like, those, those, like, you're talking for, like, little kids, I too. was thinking originally for little kids, now I'm thinking for myself. I'm thinking, like, one for the cat. Just, <laughs> everybody needs one. Okay, but Jack would look so cute in one. Can we do this? <laughs> Only if he can figure out how to operate the firing mechanism, and if he can get his heretical ass in line with the Emperor. That's true. That's true. He needs to learn. He does. Ooh. The Mordians. Yeah, that's cool. I like them. Yeah, the Mordians are the... the uh, if you've <gasps> yes! Asked... There they are. Yes. I say, the Mordians... Ah, here we go. Uh, they are, like, all nobles. Uh-huh. Um, and so being sharply dressed and being finely ah, so drilled. They're, they, they went to the academy and are the officers. Yes, but they Got are it. an army of them. That's amazing. Like, that's cool. all of them. Right. Like, the, the guardsmen. This is a guardsman squad. Right. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. I like these guys. I'm sad. The Rough that, Riders? Yeah, I love the Rough Riders. Um, I'm sad that they are not. They're, they're legend, they're legend now. now, right? I think so. The yeah, I swore as a I I actually can't do Russian, so if you could actually read some, could read that for me. What I you, can't you, do. You do Russian accents. I can't. Uh, well, you put me on the spot, so I won't be able to now. All right. Well, fair enough. We got the little. We got the hobbitses. Nice. Oh my gosh. Wait, they don't use these anymore, right? The yes, they do. Do they the rattlings? Yep, they okay. still exist. Okay. And they are still hobbits. Are they? Okay. Cool. They, I think they're new, newer sculpts than that, but yes, they are. I like him. A nice hat. He does have a nice hat. Ah, uh, the old ogrins. The old og Ooh, I like his helmet and or just head. I can't no, tell. No, no, it's a helmet. He's okay. got a thing on his head. Okay, got it. Is that an orc, like, skull? I think it is. Nice. With, like, horns attached to the sides of it. Ooh. We got the old Le the, the old so Lehman small. Russes. Oh, God, the old Lehman Russes and rhinos. If you were to hold them up to the new ones, they're so tiny. I know, I know. We've, we, uh... We, we do have some of them, I thought. Don't we have an old rhino? For the Space Marines, yeah, we don't have any of the old uh, No, Imperial not the Guards. Imperial Guard, no. Ah, oh, but they're so cool. I like, oh, there he is. Yep. Nice. Drum is a little buggy. That's cool. Ooh, I like the paint job. Like, I like yeah, the, the camo. Yeah, the black and green yeah. is handsome. I Tarantula also, Tur again, I was like, looked at these and went, are those? These, um, these immortal? are still, um, huh? Immortals? They kind of look like they had Immortals stance, like they're current. Like, I guess the, what I'm saying is Necrons oh, need an update because they're all silver. of their... It's just the silver that's throwing you off. Also, these minis are still in the game. Are they really? Yes, these are... Um, Thud servitors. gun. These are servitors. Oh. And these, I believe these are still the sculpts that are used. I think they're fine cast. Oh, gross. I don't think these are used anymore. That... These, Seems probable. Like these on the left are used for other things, like Got for it. repairs. That's cool. That's cool. Sad that they're fine cast. More servitors. We have. Oh my God! These imperial psychers. I have never seen them. That's really cool. Of Those. Ooh, I love his cowl. Look, all three of them. Oh, they all have it. Yeah. That's you know, so cool. he is sick. That is really, really cool. Look at the old assassins. These guys, yeah, these were the models until only a couple of years ago. Oh, and then look, Arbiter, Arbites. Yep, that's Adeptus like the Arbites. These are the, the police guys, oh, right? Oh, look at him, he's a little... Yeah, they're, um, they're Judge Dreads, but yeah. yeah. they're Judge Dreads, yeah. That's really cool. I uh, I like the um, the champions for them. That's cool. And making his way to the ring to face down Gosgol Thraka. Oh my the God. man himself, Commissar Yarick. Nice, look at his crab claw, his which giant he ripped claw. off, Which he ripped off Thraka himself. It's true. Great. Sadly, so cool. not appearing in this picture because they didn't update Yark because Yark is long dead in the timeline. Yeah, he is. Oh. We have the old Gene Stealers. Tyranids. Yes. The, the Gene Stealer Patriarch. Yeah. Look at this Look art. At, oh, oh that, that is, is that is amazing. That is amazing. See oh, now, I, they, now these make more sense when you see this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like terrifying. What the hell? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, these are still kind of terrifying, but in, like, less of a... It's just a different type of terrifying. Right. Is really what it comes down to. 
I like the um the Gene Steeler Magus. Yeah, they the new model took a lot from them. Oh, those are the gargoyles. Those are I lovely. remember seeing some of these because when I was playing in third edition, there was definitely some people at my store with I, Tyranids that were built out of second edition. Oh really? Yeah, nice. That's yeah, cool. so all of this is coming swarming back. Oh no. Dude, these are Hormagons. Right? Just Hormagons. These are the troop little boys. Yep. Like, that's terrifying. Yeah, Imagine, yeah. They're like, also very much more alien looking. Like 80 of these suckers. And I mean, like the you. movie Alien. Yeah, yeah, Geiger S. Yeah. I like the little. Commonly called Hunter Slayers. Hunter Slayers. It's funny because it's more. You know, I like these color schemes better, GW. Could you use this art scheme in like. You your... could easily do this because this would just be a Blood Angel red and that would be like. Oh, yeah, no. I'm, what I'm saying like, is what, like, like to like sell it to people. A Gilliman flesh, mm -hmm. I would say. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I, I definitely, I agree. Ha, oh, they're so beautiful. Look at them. <laughs> I wanted to earn that into just a demon prince. That just that looks like a, a cool great demon, demon, demon prince. prince. And then finally, the rule books themselves. Ah, oh, there they are. Someday, maybe Someday we'll, we'll review look at that, that one, yeah. I, if, do we have this one? I think so. I don't think we do. Okay, we do we not have okay, we don't have that. Somebody one. knows where I can get this one, I might need to go on eBay. So I have the third edition, I don't have the second edition. We only have this and the Imperial Guard. Yes. So That's true. Beautiful. Ooh. Oh my god, look at those dark angels. I've never seen that art. The Dark Millennium. Is this like one of It's a of, supplement is... with um added rules. Oh, okay, that's cool. That's for cool. extra war gear and such, because it used to be one of those games where you needed like the cards for the war gear. Yes. So it was one of those kind of things. Nice. But yeah, and that's heavy metal magazine. I want this art. That would be something to like really cool if they uh because they that's that was a separate magazine, yeah, right? It would. If if I could ever find this art, mm -hmm. this is my favorite piece of Space Marine, like colored art I've ever seen. Yeah. I love this. That's so cool. It is a great piece, isn't it? Yeah. Like, there's black and white pieces that are better. I just really, like, I I think it's partially also because this is a piece of second edition art I've never seen somehow. Uh -huh. I'm not a Dark Angels player. It's probably very common if you're a Dark Angels player, but I'm not. Right. So I'm like, oh my god, that is great. And, like, it, it appeals to my retro, like, fanboy. It really does. You do dig that, like, this, this is the... Like, oh, I love it. I his agree. little crouch, though, his elbows are tucked in, and he's <laughs> love it, love it. He is a good boy. He is a good boy. Ooh, Necromunda. Necromunda. New for fall 1995. Heck yeah! Battle for survival in the nightmare undercity. Nice. In an un inhospitable world of pollutant oh. wastes, rubble, long lost riches, and hidden dangers, players battle it out for supremacy. Yes? Oh, I was just gonna say, like, back when they did, like, individual paint sets, paint sets for the. Shading like, and washes? Well, specifically for, like, the factions, so, like, Blood Angels, Dark Angels, Eldar Aspects, yep. Blazes, cool. Orc and Gretchen, Shade, Shading Space Washes, Wolves. Space Wolf, Tyranids, Ultramarines. And then your White Dwarf subscription, if you wanted to sign up. For, so, okay. for one year, folks, $35. Must be paid in US cash. Oh my goodness. But if you're Maryland- Sign me up. If you're Maryland, folks, it's 5% more. Oh, so, man. Sorry. Man, state taxes is a, it's a bummer sometimes. It Ooh. is, and then we got a couple more. Uh, look at all ranks. this! Look at all this like old terrain. That's obviously it. like foam. That it's stuck foam that's pins stuck in. like pins in. Yeah, it's yeah, great. It's, like it's great. Uh, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is it for the 1996 catalog? We hope you guys enjoyed. We will see you next week with a new video. At some point, um, we will look at another one of the codexes that you guys voted on and we have some other stuff that we definitely want to show off that we have from different eras and uh it's a heart yeah that's what they normally do space marines just bringing you love <laughs>